and today we're going to do some strange myths and legends about North Korea. I know a few of these. I know he invented the hamburger. He may have invented the hamburger. You're going to have to stick around and find out. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Gary. And my name's Logan. Kim Jong-il's birth was reportedly heralded by a double rainbow and a new star in the sky. A new star just for him? Just for him. Can I see it myself? If you look in the sky, probably not. Oh. Well. It's nice knowing that it's there, at least. So there's somewhere you can only see it from North Korea, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. The light pollution over here. I it's, forgot. It's like <laughs> 90 of the... <laughs> the, the light pollution. Because they don't have any lights at night. Yeah, exactly. I uh, mean, maybe in the tourist areas, but those uh, get shut off at 2 p.m. The tourist areas? Tourist area. The place where Dennis Rodman goes. That's like the only tourist that you've ever had and ever will have. Well, I mean, that's the only one they need. Only the best for Dennis Rodman. I guess. <laughs> Kim Jong-il was a bowling prodigy. He Did got a perfect score in bowling every time he played. He's the only person that's got 400. 300 every game. Probably got a couple of 301s in there. Don't lie to me. He might. He might. He was that good. And every time he played golf, he got a hole in one. Every time. Wow. Man was a sports legend. Does North Korea have their own ESPN? If they do, they might as well not have anybody else on there. <laughs> the ghost of Kim Jong Il is still their it still has got to be. Yes. What was his number on his jersey? 1. <laughs> The only one. That's real. Kim Jong-un is reported to be a near mythical human who never needs to sleep or poop. That would honestly be a big help. I mean, is he not going to share his secret with the rest of the world? He's just built that way. <laughs> <sighs> and I mean... You will never be that special. Nothing happened on my birthday. I don't know, maybe... I don't have any double rainbows and new stars happening on that my birthday. That was his bird. dad. That was his dad. Yeah, his dad had the double rainbow and the new star. Him, he just don't poop or sleep. He, he probably wasn't even born. Just one day he was just there. Poof. When his existence was needed, he allowed it to be. He allowed it to be, yes. The North Korean media once said that they had discovered a unicorn's lair in North Korea. <laughs> And the creatures still roam. Dude. If you thought living in North Korea was bad now, wait until unicorn mating season happens, dude. No one is safe. Nobody's safe, except for, for, for Supreme Leader. You can probably talk to them. It, it, that might be on the list. Stick around <laughs> and find out. Oh my god. Can he like, is, is he like one of those Animorph guys where he can turn into a unicorn? I don't know. I don't want to make any assumptions about the Supreme Leader. He might watch this. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't want to disrespect him. I wouldn't want to get any of the facts wrong, of course. The Kim family supposedly possesses supernatural powers, and they can do things such as control the weather. That would have been a big help. I mean, I'm, isn't there like a famine like every other day in North Korea? I'm not sure if that's, like, a farming issue, but, I mean, if some rain could help, I mean, just... I mean, it sucks that the glorious leader is this awesome, but he doesn't really use his powers to help anyone else. He's no. just a clout chaser, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say that. Like, he could probably give us the cure to cancer. He probably know. has it already. It's, oh. prob it's probably in his blood. Like, it's his farts or something. <laughs> if he farted, it would cure cancer. He's like the Chuck Norris of the East. I would love to see Kim Jong Un throw a roundhouse kick. Do you think it, who do you think would win, Super Putin or uh, Ch Chuck? What would Chuck Norris's East name be? Not touching that one. <laughs> yeah, we need to have a a dictator throwdown, like a dictator smackdown, like WWE. Kim Jong Un versus. Versus uh, 
Super Putin mm-hmm. versus the Chinese guy. Winnie the Pooh, what's his name? Yeah, what's Winnie the Pooh's name? Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, that's it. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. And then like uh, reanimated mecha. We do not need to reanimate the man with the tiny mustache whose name we shall not say. My bad, I forgot about the trying to get monetized on this. All the leaders of North Korea are supposedly infallible and incapable of making bad judgments or bad decisions. I think that's pretty clear. I mean, I mean, from what I've seen in North Korea, it's been nothing but good. Nothing but good. Very good. Yeah, I mean, I've never been in there, but I was at the fence where the border was. You know, you look over the fence, everyone looks pretty happy. I'd trust them. <laughs> Did you fly them a little balloon over with a Pop-Tart attached to it? <laughs> Please tell I, me you did. Oh, of course I did. Some yeah. little uh, North uh, North Korean kid bit it and then immediately started seizing. They're not used to like carbs or sugar up there. <laughs> like maybe like a spoonful of rice will last them a week. It was just too much. That's too much. Kim Jong-il was purportedly a culinary genius who could cook all kinds of fancy stuff regardless of widespread famines. Now, this is true. It has to be. He can cook anything. He could have, yeah. Brontosaurus steak. If he wanted it, he could have it. I mean, I'm not going to disagree with that. I mean, he's kind of just a go-getter. If he wants something, he takes it. Perfect round of golf. Perfect bowling game. Mm-hmm. Thing that just happened by by will? No. no he. I'm telling you, he, he was from a different dimension. He wasn't born here. He just traveled over. You know, he... Went to the golf galaxy first to brush up on his game. And then he went to the bowling uh, dimension. Um, Mastered that. Uh, I don't know. He probably went to like lac- lacrosse. Brought a unicorn back with him. Yeah, exactly. Built it a house inside of a mountain. Mm-hmm. Didn't tell nobody. Waited for the people to find it. Yeah, exactly. Kind of sucks that he didn't bring back like the, uh, w- w- the spring, you know, the oasis of Forever Young. What the hell is that thing called? Found of Youth? Yeah, the Found of Youth. Interesting you mentioned that. There's been speculation about the Kim family's youth. They're always so young and perfect and pretty looking, according to the media. Until they're not. It almost happened about a year ago. We almost, uh, where his, his sister took over. but uh, not, to, not to throw his name in the mud, of course. No. I'm glad that our Supreme Leader pulled through. Let me be clear. Okay, Obama, calm down. <laughs> So let me be clear. Let me be clear. Uh, they said they had access to secret elixirs and stuff that preserved their youth. There you go. If anyone had it, it'd be him, I guess. I mean... It'd have to be. Man orders $20,000 worth of McDonald's a day. By golly, he's got the fountain used somewhere. I guarantee it. Is, is, is Uber Eats that bad that it's charging like $20,000 delivery just to zip it over the border? He flies it on a plane. Uber Eats has that now? No! He flies it from China. From the McDonald's in China into North Korea. Why wouldn't he get it from South Korea? Don't they have McDonald's? There's only one Korea. Does Korea not have McDonald's? South Korea does have McDonald's. Is they're it not just friends on, based of, on They're not friends of South Korea's. Oh, that's why he gets it from China. Because he doesn't want the workers fucking with his food. <laughs> Is that why? That's exactly why. Oh my god! I I questioned him, and look where it got me. <clears throat> Don't I can't never, I can't question him for the rest of this. Video. Never question Supreme Leader. <laughs> There's been unsubstantiated claims that Kim Jong Un has a special relationship with animals, and he can understand and speak with them. Unsubstantiated? Unsubstantiated. It's just a rumor. He's Doctor Doolittle. The near perfection, Dr. Doolittle. Yes, near perfection, of course. Yes. He don't poop. Mm-mm. He don't sleep. Mm-mm. He talks to animals because he's a sensitive guy. Mm-hmm. He's a perfect boyfriend. Has no one wifed him up yet? Is he still just single on the streets? Of- no, no, he has a wife. Is she going to come up on this list? No. She's she's a mere mortal. Mere mortal. She's a mere mortal. It was, I'm surprised that she could hold his child in her stomach. 
Mm-hmm. I would, I'm surprised that they could even conceive a baby. Me too. I mean, you know, like, if he's having a little bit too much fun, and, you know, he, 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 he does his thing, he blows his goo, and then it's like a shotgun blast. Just blow your ass out your back on the wall. Yeah. He's too strong. He's too strong. For these mere mortals. Very surprising. I'll make a bitch feel really mortal when I get in there. You're gonna have to cut that part out. I'm gonna. <laughs> I told you Kim Jong Il was a culinary genius, right? Yes, you did. He also invented the hamburger. I knew it was gonna come back to this. For someone who invented the hamburger, you'd think they'd have a McDonald's. You'd think they would. They don't need one though. He has the best recipe. And what's his secret recipe? Unicorn meat. I don't know. Is it one bread, two? No, two bread, one meat. <laughs> one meat, two bread. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with a recipe that simple, it's like the, the I don't, kung fu panda. I don't know why anybody else never thought about it before he did. I mean, that could be said about a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things that he's created. I mean, he's kind of just got the ball rolling in a lot of avenues. Yeah, he does. You know, like uh, I'm. Pretty sure we couldn't be bothered with stars until Kim Jong Un Eel was born, yeah. and then that's when they came up with the Gr- Gregorian calendar. Like, yeah. Oh, hold up. Let's see here. Oh, well, we're all, we're all wrong about the dates. Anyway, I mean, it didn't start until until his his daddy mm-hmm. became the man. Why do we measure things in BC? Why isn't it like B K J I? It was Kim Il Sung oh. was the original. The original? Yeah, Kim Il Sung was Kim Jong Il's daddy, and then Kim Jong Un is Kim Jong Il's son. I mean, still, that's pretty crazy to have your lineage only, like your family tree, be three notches big. That's pretty mythical, in my opinion. And your calendar only go back three generations? It's pretty crazy. Kim Jong Il was a reported film fanatic. He even directed a few that became instant classics. Which movies did he do? The Shining? Uh, he it might be. Maybe. Maybe. I'm sure he did a Korean version. North Korea Korean version because there's only one Korea. There's mm-hmm. not two, it's just Korea, according to him. I will not doubt that. I don't wanna get caught. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember. I watched a documentary about him being a film fanatic and I think he ended up kidnapping like one or two people from Japan. Like oh. like movie stars to to make them star in his films. I mean, if 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 everyone had the budget for it, I mean, I totally would make my own movie. I'd kidnap like Brad Pitt, um, Angelina Jolie. Um, on second thought, never mind Brad Pitt. I'd kidnap Angelina Jolie. Um, actually, minus the movie, I think. But what were the names of the Korean movies? I don't remember. But they were classics. I mean, like Casablanca and things like that. Imagine that. If all the talent was just taken up by one person in the world. No, yeah, it is. I mean, comparatively speaking, yes, of course. It is, yeah. I would hate to have to play basketball against him. I'd hate to play anything against him. No golf, no bowling, no basketball, no baseball. He'd probably, he'd probably good at baseball. I would imagine he'd be great at baseball. He's throwing like 200 mile an hour fastballs. Like it's going through people's gloves. <laughs> oh my god. Like some scene out of an old wartime movie where someone gets their head blasted off by a cannonball. Except it was a baseball. <laughs> and then the, then the fat kid from North Korea was throwing it. Oh my god. I mean, Supreme Leader. Well... If you liked the video as much as we did, and you like the glorious leader as much as you should, then you should leave a thumbs up and a comment, and let me know if you know any strange facts Facts. about North Korea. Yeah. My name's Logan. My name's Gary. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.